Okay, I'm not sure how good this looks. I'm trying a little new lens I picked up on this camera. So it's very wide angle. So you might be seeing fucking everything behind me. Yeah, this is a, a Drakenfest details video. So if you don't know what Drakenfest is, it's an event I go to each year for the past couple of years. It's one of the biggest LARP events in the world. If you don't know what LARP is, the way I've been describing it is it's like that last bit in the movie Role Models where they're all fighting each other, except it goes on for a week and it's in the middle of nowhere in Germany and it's way bigger and a bit more realistic. Yeah, if it's the kind of thing you think you'd be into, sure, keep watching. If you don't quite understand still and you wanna see more, I will have a card linked up here, I think up here or else up here, where you can watch a little bit more and see what I mean. I'm not gonna lie, it is super geeky, but it's actually way more fun than you would believe. But I've been doing these little Drakenfest details videos because there isn't a whole lot of information in English for people about what goes on at this event and how to prepare and stuff. I'm definitely not any kind of expert when it comes to LARPing or anything like that. I just go to Drakenfest once a year. And to be honest, I think everyone should go at least once. I haven't met one person who has dis liked it and I've gone with people who are like this is gonna be lame can't explain it and I can't actually capture on video properly how it feels to be there so I've gotten a fair few questions about like talking about the lore or like the backstory of Drakenfest of which there is apparently fucking loads of the basic premise of the game basic history lesson right now is a million billion years ago there was a copper dragon and he was big and he was awesome and whatever and then he pooped out a bunch of other smaller dragons and they were just as good as him or something or they want it to be or they think they are they make up all these different aspects of the universe or something the original dragon is the copper dragon which is represents unity which sounds awesome but he just he's a bit racist basically then the first dragon to get pooped out was i think the gold dragon which is like justice and equality then there i don't know the order after that but it was silver gray black red blue green chaos uh Shit, I think I'm forgetting some. Anyway, a bunch bunch of little baby dragons that were not really baby dragons, but they're pretty fucking great. No one could decide who was in charge after that because they were all big, massive, powerful fucking dragons. So the way that they decided to figure out who was in charge that year was they would hold a contest every year in which they would get mortals to fight for them because if they were all to fight, they would just destroy the entire universe and no one would get anything then because it'd be destroyed. So that's kind of the basic premise of why Drakenfest takes place. There's apparently loads of history and stuff and loads of backstory. There's also a white camp that I don't understand, which was apparently like an anti-dragon camp, but now it's a white dragon or something. I don't know. This is the kind of stuff I feel I don't need to know. There's no real lingering consequences outside of like in-camp politics about like, we remember you fucking us over last year and we didn't like it, so we're not helping you this year. There are so many like smaller stories, like not even smaller, just more personal stories you can get involved in that continue year to year that will have an immediate impact on you. Like getting involved in the Thieves Guild, say, or having like whatever kind of re weird relationships with other camps and like evolving that yourself. That's kind of where the real stories of Drakenfest pl take place when it comes to like the big dragony type history. Not super important, in my opinion. That's all in my opinion. I just find it a bit convoluted, really, because it's been going on so long and there's so many fucking details and so many people involved in it. It's just a big mess to anyone who comes in. So if you're just starting, you're coming in for your first year, don't worry about not knowing the backstory. You're still gonna have a great time. You just need to know what the colors of the camps are and what they represent. And someone made a video about that last year. Me, you can go look at it. There should be a card on the screen right now. <laughs> like the backstory for Drakenfest is really more of a backdrop for other, for like player stories to take place. And it's not something you have to invest in so much, I find. So the next thing a fair few people ask me about is uh, building your character and like, what way should I do my stats and what stats are more important than others and stuff like that. I would say like you're already looking too much into it. Like it's really cool to want to have your perfect character built perfectly, but just the way that Drakenfest is laid out, it's done so someone can't build a better character than someone else just reliant on points. It has to be your own personal experience. Even if, you know, you build a super strong fighter somehow at your first game, you have just as much chance as, at winning as someone who's a total noob at fighting. Not just as much chance, but it'll come down to skill and how good it looks. It's not going to come down to your points, really. If you like invest your points into, into hit points, like your health, how many hits you can take, kind of. On paper, sure, you can take like 12 hits, say, but like if someone hits you with a big fucking massive axe that should cut you in half and you're not wearing any armor or anything, you're not just gonna shrug it off. You should be flailing around like an like epileptic fish because you are in bits now. And if you don't, everyone's gonna see it and be a bit like, right, sure. 
your chest is made of iron. I think stats come into play a lot more if you're doing like a magic character. It's kind of like works like ammo a little bit, like the amount of magic points you have and, and what spells and stuff you know. If you don't know a certain spell one year and say you come back the next year, you have to go through the process of learning a spell. Like you can't just like learn it on your sheet this year and then have it. You, your character has to go and learn this spell from like the Mages Academy or something. On paper, there is no way for you to write in the stats and be like, oh look, I'm a, I'm a fucking Super Saiyan. This is more me almost getting a bit ranty because I feel some people want to build these like super badass characters that everyone is going to think is so cool and they're going to stand out so much and they're going to be the fucking hero of the universe. When it's like, that is down to you as a person or as your character your stats are not gonna really affect that as much as you think. I know people who have been playing a character for like 16 years. Like a few of them are the strongest magic players potentially in the whole game. All of their achievements and stuff have come from them doing great things as, as like a player. It's not come down to because they have stats. The stats help, but it's the, the achievements of them on a like player level. It's, it's not because they have these fucking awesome stats. No, does that make any sense? I'm not super technical and I'm not great at stats myself. Just don't try to make a character that's better than everyone else. Like if you're if it's about the fighting, well then it comes down to having good fights, not about winning fights. I always say try to be aware of what might limit other people when you're putting your character together. So if you're always drunk, that can get really annoying to people. If you're like a slapstick character, sometimes that can be hilarious. If it's done right, uh, other times people are just gonna be like, I don't want to interact with you because I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. If you're a fucking cool badass loner ranger type character you're probably going to be bored out of your mind because no one's going to come talk to you to because you look mysterious in the corner of the tavern smoking your pipe like fucking strider from lord of the rings they're just going to leave you to it for the most part your character can do what you can do it's the general consensus just do put points in like the weapons you want to use maybe reading and writing and a bit into brawl that's all you really have to worry about the rest you can figure out when you get there. A brief summary of what I covered in this video. Don't worry so much about the backstory. If you're interested in it, I'd say go look it up and research and ask people and talk to people when you're there. If you're worried that you're not gonna know what's going on because you don't know the backstory, don't worry about that. Don't worry so much about stats if it's your like first time being there or like building a character. Also just a quick note on like being in character. If you're worried you're not gonna be able to keep it up for the whole event, like staying in character 24 seven, don't stress about that. Some people do take that very seriously. I feel you need time off. And as long as it doesn't ruin it for anyone else, like if someone's like, I'm questing for a dragon egg, who will help me? And you're like, nah, I'm actually out. I'm just gonna go on my phone for a bit. It's kind of shitty of you. Like you should just be like, no, sorry. And just duck out quietly. But in saying that, there's nothing wrong with ducking out. But yeah, don't worry too much about stats. What makes your character is how you act rather than what's written on paper. Cause no one's really gonna, ch I've never, ever seen anyone check the stats on someone else's character sheet. It just, it never really comes up. And just the number one thing that you should always have in mind in any aspect when it comes to Drakenfest, and I guess fucking LARPing and stuff in general, or even life. Be aware if what you're doing is gonna limit the experience for someone else and try not to do that thing if it does. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I mentioned before in a video that I was messing around with the idea of Patreon because I don't know if I can afford to get to Drakenfest this year the way it's looking. If people appreciate me making videos from it and appreciate me making these videos, maybe you'll throw a few bob my way just so I can get there and keep doing it. I feel like a scab asking, but I would appreciate you taking a look in the links down in the description below. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it.